Our weather is about to change in a big way as we are anticipating a few big storm systems to roll into the United States over the next couple of weeks and these could bring the potential for some snowfall, even severe weather and some of the coldest weather that we've seen so far this year with winter on the horizon. So in today's forecast we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next 10 days and we'll begin with what's happening across the country right now and for the time being things are fairly quiet. We do have a low pressure system that is actively spinning back over in the Ohio Valley with some cloud cover reaching all the way down to the Gulf Coast through Ohio. There was actually a little bit of severe weather yesterday, especially near Corpus Christi, where we actually had three inch hail fall just north of the city. So those storms are now moving offshore. And then as we go into tonight and tomorrow, we're going to have a storm system that is going to form in the southeast that will bring the potential for some heavy rainfall, localized flooding, and also some strong to isolated severe storms. Back over in the northern plains, we have a a lot of cloud cover currently spilling into the northern plains in the upper Midwest. This will continue for the next day or two, but really not a whole lot of signs right now of any big weather events along the West Coast or the Northeast. However, I do think that'll change as we go later into this week. I do have some phenomenal news about the tropics. We have no tropical cyclone activity expected at all over the next seven days. Melissa is now a post-tropical cyclone in the far northern Atlantic Ocean. It is actually heading towards Iceland. I do think there's still a low chance that something tropical could develop near the Central American Gyre region over the next week or two, but generally speaking, the odds of anything impacting the United States are awfully low with us going into a more wintry pattern over the next few weeks. So overall, this could be the first hurricane season since 2015 to have no landfalling hurricanes in the United States, which is just absolutely bonkers. Now let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States over the next couple of weeks as this is going to dramatically change. This is what our jet stream looks like right now. It's actually very strong across the north Northern Plains. We got a little dip in the jet stream across the southeast. That is a storm system that'll bring a little bit of shower and storm activity and some localized flooding for the next 48 hours, primarily to the southeast. As we go into the middle of the week, our jet stream is going to become very zonal, which basically means it's very flat from west to east. This usually indicates a very quiet weather pattern. That is, in fact, what we'll be seeing throughout the next few days, aside from the southeast and the east coast. As we go into Thursday and Friday, that is our first signs of any sort of storm system that could could bring some showers, some thunderstorms, maybe even some severe weather, maybe even a little bit of wintry weather as well. And that'd be around Friday. Notice we have a low pressure system that'll be dipping here across Minnesota, Iowa, and Nebraska. And this would be basically the area to keep an eye on for, for storm activity, and then maybe some snowfall activity on the northern side of that. By Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna have another dip in the jet stream here across the Midwest. It does not look very impressive. It's very stretched out, but we could still get some precipitation out of this across the Midwest and the Ohio. Valley, and this could also be a little bit wintry. Monday, Tuesday looks very interesting. This is obviously very extended in terms of our forecast, but the GFS model here shows a couple different things, one of which is a huge dip across the northeast. This would promote a very cold air mass to move into the northeast and even to the Ohio Valley and perhaps into the mid-Atlantic, where temperatures could be as much as 15 to 25 degrees below average, and that could also maybe lead to some snowfall in some areas. And then another area that we'll have to keep an eye on is this right here. Here, another dip in the jet stream across the Rockies around Monday or Tuesday. And if this were to happen, we would likely see some level of severe weather and also snowfall across the Northwest. I do think as we go into the middle of November, the weather pattern is going to get a lot more active. It's just a matter of time. And then by the end of November, we should be starting to talk about the threat of lake effect snow across the Great Lakes and even the potential for some bigger snowfall events across the lower 48. But generally speaking, I think these storm systems are going to be very slowly progressing over the next seven days, maybe one or two storms, and then I think we're going to have a higher frequency as we go into the middle and end of November. Now, before we talk about exactly who could see snowfall, who could see severe weather, and how cold it's going to get, we need to talk about the sponsor of today's forecast. While these storms might be slow to develop, your wallet doesn't have to be. Free cash is an easy way to earn money on the side just by trying out apps, games, or even platforms like Netflix or TikTok. All you have to do is complete simple tasks, and you'll be paid directly on the platform. Here is how it works. 
When new apps or games are released, developers need real users to try them out. They pay free cash to find those users, and then free cash shares that money directly with you. For example, with the game Call of Dragons, you can make over a thousand dollars by completing the available tasks. And if you're still not convinced, check out the free cash leaderboard where some users are earning over $10,000 every month. The top users typically do two different things. They refer new users and they focus on offers that include in-app purchases. Free cash is completely legit with more than 240,000 reviews and a rating of 4.8 stars. So why wait to start earning? Click the top link in the description below or scan the QR code on your screen now to sign up and get a $5 welcome bonus. Now let's get back to the four now let's put this all into more simplistic terms with the future radar over the next 7 to 10 days. This is what it looks like over the next 24 to 48 hours. Some showers and storms across the mid-Atlantic and the southeast, and a little storm system will move into the northeast on Monday with some rainfall. Tuesday and Wednesday, high pressure is going to build across the Ohio Valley and the southeast. Overall, temperatures will begin to increase, and really not a whole lot of rainfall in the forecast through Thursday. Friday is when we're expecting at least some snowfall to make its way into the far northern plains and the upper Midwest. Not expecting any significant snowfall out of this as of right now, but this will be our next storm system that'll bring some snow, also some showers, isolated thunderstorms perhaps across the Ohio Valley. I wouldn't rely a low-end threat of severe weather on Friday somewhere in the Ohio Valley, so that is something to keep an eye on, and maybe some snowfall across parts of Canada and far northern New England. Saturday and Sunday, this is where things start to get a little bit more uncertain, but notice how there is a possibility that we could see some snowfall sneak into Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, perhaps even to the Dakotas. For some some of you, this could be a period where our first snowfall of the year occurs. A lot of models, including the GFS, have hinted at some sort of snowfall event happening sometime over the next seven days, especially in the Midwest. It might not be anything big, but this would, could be our first snowfall. Sunday into Monday, that snow could also make its way towards the East Coast, and then as we go into next week, that's when things become a lot more uncertain. But notice again, the weather pattern looks like it's going to get pretty active. It looks like we're going to have multiple big storm systems at some point here as we go into the middle of November. We are basically due for an active weather pattern here in the United States, and I do not think we're very far away from that actually happening. Now let's tie this all together by looking at our temperature trends over the next 7 to 10 days. This is what it looks like right now. We have below average temperatures all along the East Coast and in the Ohio Valley, well below average temperatures sitting across the Mississippi Valley this morning, and then back along the West Coast and also across the Northern Plains. This is where our pocket of warm air resides right now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're going to be kind of mixed across the country, still below average for most of the East Coast. Things are going to start to warm back up again if you're in the Midwest or anywhere in the Great Plains by Monday and Tuesday. By Thursday and Friday, that warm air will continue to build across the entire Great Plain region and the Midwest. Below average temperatures will begin to make their way into the Northeast on Friday and Saturday. We'll probably at least get one, if not two shots of cold air in those areas. And then by the end of next weekend, that's about seven days from now, the GFS model is hinting at a very large area of cold air that could stretch anywhere from the Central Plains all the way through the Northeast. So this is something they'll have to keep an eye on as temperatures could be as much as 15 to 25 degrees below average and even into Monday and Tuesday the model here does indicate that that could last all the way into the middle of next week across the east coast that could lead to again very cold weather and maybe even some snowfall in some isolated locations and then anywhere beyond that things become a lot more uncertain but overall the ro temperature roller coaster is definitely going to be continuing here for the next seven to ten days if you're in the northeast but anywhere in the great plains it looks like things are going to stay above average for the foreseeable future now this is something that we need to talk about. This is something that does not happen very often in the month of November, but we are talking about the potential for freezing temperatures tonight as far south as areas near the Gulf Coast. Central Mississippi could have some areas that are at least in frost range in the mid 30s tonight, even back over to southeast Missouri, western Tennessee. Some of those areas could get near or just below freezing tonight. So get ready for that if you're anywhere there in the Mississippi Valley and then high temperatures in those same exact areas will be in the 60s. But across the board, every Everywhere in the United States will basically feel like fall tomorrow in terms of high temperatures, but some 80s and even maybe some low 90s across the desert southwest. And then Tuesday morning, we're going to be warming back up again if you're across the southeast. However, if you're in the mid-Atlantic, some areas will drop into the upper 30s and low 40s, and then widespread freezing temperatures anywhere in the blue. That includes the northeast and also the northern plains, which at this point you're probably already used to as most of these areas drop below freezing this time of the year almost every morning. And as always, thank you all 
so much for watching today's forecast. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. And a special thank you to Free Cash for sponsoring today's forecast. If you want your $5 sign-up bonus, you can click the top link in the description below. Go check them out. Again, all the sponsors on this channel help us to be able to do what we do on this channel, so I really do appreciate Free Cash for once again sponsoring today's forecast. Also, just a heads up, our next winter forecast will be coming out over the next few days, so make sure you're staying tuned to the channel, and we'll see you all again in the next video.